Good morning. Oh, I thought I selected the webcam. Screencast is not going so well this morning. Okay, there is actually a little bit to talk about. I apologize. There was no watch list video Sunday. Uh, market update video. Uh, yes, chaotic. So I do apologize. Okay, Aussie dollar. Wow. Okay, so I look. Uh, this is good. This is a good example of learning to sort of stay out. So if we go to the daily time frame, and I look. To be fair, pardon me. I was sleeping. Um, it's broken out. I want to see what it does here. We've got 65.44 or so. I'm going to sip my coffee. I don't know if I'm coming through on the webcam. Okay. It's showing uh, I'm frozen. And then I'm like 10 centimeters from it. But I'm not 10 centimeters from it. So if you're seeing that, I apologize. And yes, what I want to see, small pullback, and we might see a breakout here. So I'm going to continue watching that. Euro Aussie, I was talking about this long on a few Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok. Uh, that was an incorrect call as well. So it hasn't really, what, you know, what I was um, on the fence about was what risk sentiment was going to do. T last night was pretty clear. Can we see it continue to run? That's going to be interesting. Um, there's a lot of hype around uh, a company in the U.S. that may have found some positive human results. That just, you know, really caused the market to just sort of, um, you know, reignite some confidence. You know, we'll see if it has some conviction. So, look, Aussie dollar, let's, gosh, let's just narrow it down to the one hour. All right. So, how I'd play this really, it's, I want to see a nice big wick rejection candle pull back and then, you know, ideally it, it moves down to, you know, 65 or so. Um, but we'll see. Uh, also, the pound, let's see what that's doing. Pound Aussie, actually, let's see what that's doing. Whoa, boy, breaking down. It has a gap down, actually, to start the week. A little, well, it has, it has. So, let's see what that wants to do. That's a nice little trending pair. Again, I'm not really a fan of entering now, so I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just highlighting what's happened. Aussie Kiwi as well, that's been really running. That's, boy. Now, that candle was like, okay, that's... Very large compared to the daily range uh, recently. You know, that's just in general though. That's When something like this happens, it's there's something that's gone on significantly. Typically anyway. Or it could be a flash crash. But normally we see those very early in the year when there's low liquidity in the algos and someone fat fingers something. Oh, something of that nature. But that really wasn't the case here because, you know, we're in May. So I didn't play that. I was so like, this is... Unusual, and I'm not interested in this. Uh, Euro US dollar has broken out as well. I was talking about this, um, so I'm going to continue to watch this. This could be this could be a buy on the Euro US dollar. USD weakness is still there, so that's something to watch. Now gold has eased off considerably. It will load maybe. No, I was looking at the four hour. I'm going to sip my coffee. Yeah, please. Uh -oh. What was the high there on gold? Let's have a look. I reckon it got to 70. That's what it sort of looks like. Maybe. It's not really... It's all frozen, guys, because it's showing that that's apparently 1574. So does that mean 1754? 1765. Okay. So I was, I was a little bit off there. So that actually might be a sell trade there. We'll see. Because we have seen a bit of USD strength. I want to see the S&P now. Oh, pound yen. Oh, so it has bounced a little bit. I was talking about this on ooh, Saturday. I made two videos Saturday. I sort of combined, if you watch both those videos, you, you will get a bit of a watch list. I didn't, unfortunately, get a chance on Sunday to make one. Uh, let's have a look at the pound. That's sort of moving a little bit too. Euro pound, talking about long and that. So Euro pound long, Euro US dollar long. Gosh, Aussie dollar long. Nothing quite yet. So if I have to make another video, guys, I will tonight. Um, stay tuned for that. Until then, hope everyone's having a lovely week so far. It's definitely cooling down in Perth. I walked to the uh, supermarket today and that was five degrees, um, which was nice, but sunny. 
All right, guys, that's that's me done for uh, for right now. And look, if you have any questions, please feel free to just you know, I leave my email on on the YouTube as well, so you know, get in touch. Obviously, I'm very sensitive to scams, so please don't try and waste your time. Okay, that's you just that's just don't do that. All right, thanks, guys.